name's Michael Wilson, and I am a painter and sculptor. Some watercolors. Um, I've been here at Waltham Studios for um, 30 years, a lot longer than I expected. Um, but I, I'm still here, still working. I thought the pandemic would be kind of a blessing in that I was kind of had to stay inside, so I had to stay in pain. But it uh, surprised me that the ideas were very slow in coming. And let's see, I did a series of Black Lives Matter figures. Um, I've done uh, a few COVID paintings, um, some good, some not. Because I did them during the pandemic, yes, they're pandemic related and a couple of them are pretty obvious. Uh, I've put the mask on a couple of some marble figures. Um, there are some abstract elements that could be interpreted, are kind of meant to be the chaos of a, of a pandemic. These are some of the coronavirus paintings, the pandemic paintings. We've got the mask. That's Kind of explanatory. Chaos in front of art or behind art, nature. The Pale Rider refers to one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse um, who comes raining death. The story of the four horsemen is in the Bible, so it goes back a long ways. Um, there are iterations of it throughout history, different people have painted and drawn. A skeleton riding a horse, shooting, seemed appropriate. I like cowboys. Scary. I like that he's chasing the train. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cowboy of <laughs> He's a train robber. <laughs> this train I did for my niece, who loves trains. Um, so it was kind of a request from her mom. Now I have to actually give it to her. And right now I'm sort of finding my way back into a mashup kind of style of painting where I combine different things in a collage tech looking style that's all paint. I get to paint the things I like to paint, the things I love to paint, put them all in the same painting. My teaching, we were doing figures and portraits and as I was looking through online models available I realized my classes seldom have the chance to paint or draw a black model. Um, so I, I found some. It was mostly in the summer when it was a lot of the uh, protests were going on, so it felt quite timely. And I enjoyed the process of trying to capture the different skin tones within people. Um, they're just basically paint figures but they're black figures, and that's kind of a departure for me. So it did help to raise my awareness. The one sculpture I have that's been bronzed. The, um, I started a series of horse sculptures that began with Don Quixote and his horse, Rosinante. This is Rosinante without Mr. Quixote. Um, so yeah, this is probably my finest, most expansive sculpture to date. I think that I'm pretty much done with the Don Quixote paintings. It was, uh, we had a great time together, but, you know, we had, we had to move on. It's when you're having a, um, a writer's block, so to speak, um, is that you sort of, it forces you to consider what you're doing and prioritize. Um, so that took, made me, put me in the position of having to figure out what was most important to me in the painting. And uh, that gave me a, a, something to focus on and a reason to, to uh, paint again. Yeah, normally I just stumble through on some ideas that pop up. And some work, some don't. This time, by having to take the time and meditate on it, um, yeah, it, it put me in a different kind of stumbling process. A more thoughtful.
Intentional stumbling. A thoughtful stumble. That's great. <laughs> I think just the nature of the space. There's, it's a, a lot of floor space. Um, these great big windows. This is, it's ideal for what, for art studios. And I just relish being able to be here. This is my sanctuary. Having um, both, you know, the just strangers, you know, the general public come in during open studios weekend and or having uh, the Waltham Mills artist community come through. Year before last, there was a, gr uh, a group of blind people that came in who had a tremendous time, quote, looking at my sculpture with their hands, which is fantastic. I was happy to be able to give them an experience or be a part of an experience they don't often get. Um, that was uplifting. Um, I'm trying to think. There was one year um, a dog pooped on my studio floor. Can't seem to forget that one. It's nice to have people come in and, and smile. My work is quite colorful and the Don Quixote series was quasi-abstract and people generally smiled when they came in. And that was, that's good. It is a way of getting feedback that's not just me and my feedback loop. When I look at my paintings, it's hard to see it differently than I always do. Um, and people can come through and say something that would be a, appropriate or not, but it's usually something I wouldn't think of. So for that, I'm grateful that, you know, as a way of spreading and sharing ideas, it's very helpful. I think Waltham has been very supportive. Um, years, years and years ago, someone, a local businessman, told me that he thought that one of the reasons Waltham was growing was because of the artist community that's part of a foundation that makes for a healthy and complete town. And the mayor has always been good to us and good for us. Keep in mind, face piles of trials with smiles. It riles them to believe that you perceive the web they weave. Keep on thinking free. <laughs> <laughs> That's from the Moody Blues, about 1968. <laughs> 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 Alright, good.